Hey, Nigel, uh, just first thoughts, your first Big 12 tournament, your first experience in an environment like that, even though it's, it maybe not is the normal environment for that building. What was the experience like for you? I mean, it's always a great experience. I mean, it's, it's a fun thing. I mean, it's a, it's a nice background, nice setup. I mean, I, I love the way how they did things, even though COVID has affected a lot of ways things can uh how things are played but i mean this is like another big tournament for me i mean growing up in indiana we had big big tournaments especially during uh playoff time so it's kind of like another game for us we got to worry about just the game and not you know really what the stage is and i feel like that's what we we did a good job of today and then for for you to just have things clicking like that it just seemed like everything was working for you the shots were falling what does that do for you confidence wise heading into a game tomorrow against baylor I mean, it sets me up really well um, to come out tomorrow um, to be able to, you know, give us another great night. Um, I feel like that's what's going to be necessary, no matter what it is, if it's points, assists, rebounds. I feel like I'm going to need to have a great night for us to have, um, to have good success against Baylor, but also defensively, I feel like I'm going to need to, me and my team are going to need to have a great night for us to be successful. And then on that, defensively tonight, it seemed like you guys were just on another level slowing everything down was that just a product of, of now having seen TCU twice already coming into tonight and having some familiarity or was there something added to that that helped you guys be successful more on the defense I just think we have a, a different mindset as a team coming to our games now I feel like we're not trying to you know outscore somebody in a game I feel like we're trying to trying to lock guys up and I feel like guys in our team are taking things personally now I mean guys feel like they deserve the recognition they're not getting and they feel like hey this guy has it so let me not go lock him up and show him you know, I, I can lock this guy up so he doesn't deserve it. So I feel like that's what our, our guys are doing. We take it personally. I mean, that's just what happened. And you talk about recognition. Was being left off the Big 12 all-freshman team something that motivated you a little bit extra today? I mean, I really don't. I try not to stay, you know, look into politics and things like that. If somebody else's opinion, I mean, I believe um, what, whatever I can do, I can do. I mean, whatever another person said doesn't define the person that I am. I feel like if we win, it doesn't matter, you know. Um, and that's what I, I look forward to. I look to do whatever I can to win. And if I get the recognition to go with it, then so it be. Thanks, Nigel. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Okay, now next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Nigel. Congrats on the win. Um, last time when you played Baylor, it was obviously a blowout in their favor. I think you guys have improved enough to give them a game tomorrow. I mean, I always feel like we improved. I feel like we've improved uh, these last five game stretch. Uh, I feel like defensively we became a better team. Uh, I feel like it's going to be very interesting tomorrow to see how much we have developed and how much we've gotten better against a really, really good team, especially a top five team in the country. Um, I feel like it's a good test for us. Um, I feel like we can do it. Not a lot of people feel like we can do it, but at least the guys that are with us uh, believe we can, and I feel like we can, we can go out and get it done. You're the guy who made the two shots at the end of the first half. Do you feel like, in hindsight, that kind of turned the game for you guys? I mean, yeah, I feel like that was a great momentum switch for us going into uh, to the halftime. I mean, they made a good run. Uh, we were able to close it out uh, with two threes at the end uh, with momentum going in our favor, going into the locker room. And then we came out swinging again. We came out. Mike McGrill gave us a big boost um, coming out of halftime. And I feel like since then, we never turned our backs and looked back, and we were just gone from then. Thanks, Nigel. Congrats again. Thank you. Okay, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Nigel, playing in that environment of uh, Indiana High School basketball tournament, does that kind of give you a feel of, of big time postseason in the college level even? I feel like so. I mean, even though the crowds are not the same right now, I feel like um, these crowds can get even more, more intense. I feel like that's a good, you know, um, stepping stone for me, um, playing the sold out crowds in high school and AAU games that were packed like the EYBL and the Peace Jam. I feel like it just set me up for, you know, um, to be ready for these games type today, even though, you know, COVID has set down, the, you know, the attendance of fans. But I feel like that was a good thing for me. Have you played in arenas of this size before? I played in a few, um, some college arenas, and I even played uh, at Bankers Life where the Pacers played before. Do you like that uh, shooting background, that shooting environment? Does that help you uh, kind of uh, transition into that shooting style pretty well? I feel like it has. I mean, you know, these are different floors, different backgrounds. I mean, um, in the usual setting, it's kind of a wall behind a basket. It kind of makes the shooting a little easier. But um, with, with fans and stands and 
just free space in there kind of makes, you know, have to be more accurate with your shooting. Um, but I feel like I've adjusted to that well playing in, you know, uh, different arenas before before this hand. And it seemed like you guys were playing pretty relaxed from the from the get go tonight. What was your take on that? I mean, we just had to be calm and collective as a team. We couldn't get rushed. We couldn't get sped up. I feel like that's a good thing for us. Um, if we execute well, play defense, and shut down, I feel like we're we're very competitive and we can compete with anybody in the country. And just a little bit more towards Baylor. Is, is that a similar approach for tomorrow? Like you guys got nothing to lose? Yeah, I mean. We're the underdogs here. Nobody expects anything out of us. If we if we lose, I mean, it's supposed to happen when we, when we win. I mean, it's gonna be a miracle for for everybody. But we're gonna be expecting it to happen. Um, we're we're gonna get prepared like we were, have, like we have been. Our coaches have done a great job uh, preparing us, getting us ready, getting us focused, and then we just got to go out and play. And how much growth have you guys as a team shown in the last three weeks, month? I mean, I think we've shown huge improvement. Um, being able to compete with the top teams in the country, going from getting blown out, people um, expecting us to lose every game to now, what is this, four games in a row? Or f four games that we've won, and we won the first game in the Big 12. I mean, we weren't even expected to win this. Um, our coach told us last night, I mean, ESPN was expecting a 73% loss um, tomorrow today. Um, we end up winning by only know how much. I mean, it feels good, but we still got a lot of work to be done.